Hello, Colas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss some of the latest stories. We start with Abde El Zazuli as Barca have informed the 15 million rated starlet they will not entertain offers for him. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about goalkeeper Mark Andre Stegen, as the key superstar is now very close to signing a new contract extension until 2028. We are also going to be discussing on that. So as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the plus post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have informed winger Ace Abde that they will not listen to any offers for him this summer amid widespread interest in his services, according to reports from Helena Condes of COPE. The 21-year-old winger, whose market value stands at 15 million euros, had been the subject of speculations, especially in the past 24 hours or so, with reports suggesting that he could be sold because of financial fair play issues. In fact, it was even suggested that the Moroccan international might already have an agreement with Real Betis. Why clubs such as Bayer Leverkusen and Crystal Palace were also linked. However, as per the latest update from Helena Condis, which has also been corroborated by other sources, including Fabrizio Romano, Abde will not be leaving Barcelona this summer. The 21-year-old winger's agent, was at the club's Suita Desportiva complex earlier yesterday to meet with the club's officials and understand the situation currently. And as per the report, Abde has been clearly informed that the Blaugrana staff count on him big time for the new season and they are unwilling to listen to any offers that come in for him. It is further stated that Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez bets heavily on Abde for the new season and believes that the winger can be an important player for the team. The Moroccan ace who joined the club in 2021 from Hercules FC spent the last season on loan at Osasuna and made a big impression. Even though he has not started in the first two games of the season, Abde has made a notable impact after coming from the bench. The 21-year-old attacking ahead of the he has been preferred ahead of both Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres in both matches, indicating that Xavi has full faith in him. And as such, the attacking prospect will not be leaving Barcelona this summer. That should come as good news because these past few days there were there were a lot of talk about Ace Abde leaving potentially leaving Barca. Honestly, I was not in favor of such reports because I think Abde is a quality player. Um, Javi likes him. Javi wants him to stay. Fabrizio Romano himself have confirmed that Abde will not leave Barcelona this summer. Barca counts on him. Despite contradicting reports earlier saying that the club are trying to sell him if a good offer comes. But Barca have made it clear to the player's agent that they will decline any offers that come for him. Yesterday we heard, we got a lot of reports about Ace Abbey's future, Bayer Leverkusen, um, Real Betis and some other clubs putting interest. But from the look of things now, Barcelona have decided that Abbe will be at Barca full flash this season as he continues to, to mature in his footballing career. Abde had a very great season on loan at Osasuna last year, which really helped Barca to decide to bring him back because he was the best performing Barca player out on loan that last season without any doubt. And also coupled with his wonderful, brilliant display in the Champions, sorry, in the Under-23 Africa Cup of Nations earlier this year, Abde has continued to win Chavez's trust 
Javi and the coaching staff have really made it clear to the Barca board that by no means should they ever think of selling Ace at day elsewhere because the player continues to show how important he is to the club and it's quite important to have him as a winger. But notwithstanding, it doesn't mean that Barca will not sign another forward because I've been talking about players like Joao Felix closely linked to Barca, even though there is no conclusion as on how Barca want to go about it as financial fair play might become a hurdle in that pursuit. Because for Joao Cancelo's move, coming to add to the roster would be a big addition to the roster and registration also would take a lot. So let's see how Barca wants to go about things because reports earlier were saying that if they want to sell Abde, it's not because of fine sporting reasons, because of the economic reasons and the financial re the, the financial reasons as we all know, which have been crippling Barca for a long time. Abde sale could have helped Barca maybe to bring in Felix quite easily and register him easily. But now Barca have said draft, um, Abde won't be leaving the club as Javi counts on him big time for the season. So let's see how the summer window is going and how will it end. Will Barca be able to bring in another attacker in the form of Joao Felix? Or will Javi continue to use the attackers that he has at hand in order to push for a successful season? Then on to the final story of discussion. Barcelona goalkeeper Mark andre Ter Stegen is on the verge of signing a new long-term contract with Barca until 2028, according to a report from Sport. The 31-year-old is one of the most important players for Barca, with the shortstopper enjoying his best-ever campaign with the club in the 2022-23. Ter Stegen has started the new season on a similar note already, keeping two clean sheets in two matches, making vital contributions to the team. A model for other players on the pitch, Ter Stegen has been elevated to the status of second captain following the exit of Busquets and Alba. One of the longest serving members of the Barca roster, Ter Stegen has proven himself to be deserving of the accolade and he is now set to help the club out with a new contract signing. As per reports, Ter Stegen will be agreeing on a wage deferral for the first two years of his new contract, which would be made up for in the latter part of his deal. This in turn would help Barca lower their salary mass and aid their efforts in achieving financial fair play, which would allow them to register players. The report states that an agreement between all parties is now imminent and the contract extension is only a matter of time. Given the club's difficulties in offloading Langley, they hope to make their Stegen's renewal official soon so that they can go ahead with administration or registration of Marcos Alonso and Inaki Pena. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.